Recently, BSG rolled out a new feature which allows you to see the banned players which you reported in the game. And it's a good it's a good feature. Props to BSG. I appreciate it. However, there's a couple of questions I still have in my head. And my brain operates operates purely logically, and I can't really get an answer to those questions. So maybe you can clear it out for me in the comments. So let's get straight to it. BSG started publicly shaming cheaters a long time ago, and I think the last time they done it on Escape from Tarkov forums was in 2019. And they released the names of 15 blocked hackers, right? And this was the last time done it on forums. Officially, they well they they, they said that they stopped releasing the names of banned players due to the TOS. Apparently, they shouldn't do it because it breaks Tarkov's TOS. And as far as I know, Tarkov's TOS, which are terms of services, uh, Tarkov's TOS hasn't changed since 2016. So TOS is still the same. And for that reason, they didn't post any names. However, they are posting names now. For example, this tweet from 14th of April, which was six days ago, they released a sheet with 4,000 banned cheaters, so they're doing it again. So, uh, is it against TOS? Is it not against TOS? Why did they go back to those practices? I'm not entirely sure, so maybe somebody can explain to me in the comments down below. But that's not the that's not the point. The point is that the new system in the game, uh, the few, like the, 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 the brand new results, the system started operating yesterday. Um, I got, I, I, I managed to uh, report three players two on reserve and one on laps, and those guys got banned. And it's a good feature. However, I really got disappointed by the fact that it doesn't show you the name of the player. And I spoke to BSG about this, and they said that they have no intentions on adding the names to the report system. So they are not thinking about that. They might improve it in the future, but I got told that they do not plan adding names of the banned players to the system. And this is where my questions come from. So what is the point of the system? If instead of using this message, I can literally write down the names of the cheaters that kill me. And since every single week BG releases their Google spreadsheet with all the players that were banned, I can just go to that uh, playlist and, and, and just find the player that killed me. I can find the cheater that killed me because his name is going to be is going to be on the list. So what's the point of hiding names in game if you release them on, on Twitter anyway? It doesn't make sense. And the second thing which I would love to talk about is compensations for cheaters. So every single item in the game has its own value. And for example, when you go into the raid and you insure your items, it gets a it gets a multiplier. It takes all of your items base price. It multiplies it by the multiplier, and that's the amount of uh, that's the amount of money you pay. So the game knows how much your gear is worth. I think it would be really cool if you would be getting the worth of your gear back after those players get banned. So three raids, I should be getting three gear sets back. And if not gear sets, just like just give me the cash, you know, just give me the cash. Since the systems, the system knows how much my gear is worth. And if that's not uh, applicable, if BSG can't do this, uh, there isn't even a simpler method. Just give players, I don't know, hundred thousand rubles for every single death from cheaters. So the system clearly knows you've reported three players, just give 3, 000, uh, 300 thousand rubles. And this system can't be abused. For example, make sure that the person doesn't receive um, more than one uh, care package from uh, one banned cheater. So like if you die to the same cheater five times, you're still gonna get 100 thousand rubles. I think this is be this is gonna be a really great addition and it's gonna make players feel better. And I'm not really sure why BSG hasn't done that. Because, I mean, I'm not a programmer, but from my perspective, I don't think it's very difficult to make the system calculate how many messages it sent you, how many players were banned, and give you the 100,000 rubles times this amount. Um, like, I, I just don't get it. Anyway, I'm pretty happy that we got this system in the game. Anyway, I'm also looking forward to the um, camera replay, aka death cam, if it's ever coming to the game. Uh, and yeah, props to BSG for adding this uh, the system. I hope they improve it in the ways I described earlier. And let me know your thoughts about the system and uh, what I stated in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.